Hi there, and uh, welcome to my language learning live stream. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the police sirens outside over the microphone. Can you hear me? I hope everything's working today. Last week when we started this stream, we did have a few technical difficulties, and the microphone had me sounding like a robot for a while, so I hope it's okay. If it's not okay, please tell me somewhere in the chat. Welcome to my language learning live stream, where I'm trying to figure out if I can get good at Japanese just using apps. And of course, with the help of some friendly friends down here in the comments, you can see a few people down there already. I see some Pokemon walking around. Uh, it's nice to see you today. It is Midday Monday here in Hong Kong on the 26th of April, 2021. April is like the 26th of April. That's ridiculous. Um, I can't believe how quickly this year is going. That's crazy. As always, we are being recorded live on twitch.tv slash Anthony Kelly. If you are watching live, thank you so much for coming. Um, feel free to say something in the chat if I say something wrong or if I make a stupid mistake or anything like that. I need, me, I need you to, uh, to uh, keep me honest in that sense. But if you're not watching live, it's no problem because I will be uploading this video later to youtube.com slash Anthony Kelly Yip as well. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. Let me just have a look here. If you want to, uh, if you want to support the stream, then uh, feel free to follow me on either YouTube or Twitch. I'm looking at the uh, the subscription and the follow accounts right there. We have got 109 followers on YouTube already and only 107 on Twitch. Those numbers are ridiculously close to each other. I think we could get those the same. Um, if you are not following me on Twitch, then uh, please follow me on Twitch. It would be very nice if we had 109 subscribers on Twitch and 109 subscribers on YouTube. Hold on a second. Let me just check this. I, I, I'm just going to have a look at this. Hold on. Because I'm pretty sure that I have got nearly that amount. That I've got nearly that amount on um, Twitter as well. Give me just a second while I go off on a tangent and just get lost somewhere. Let's just go. I've got 107 followers over on uh, on Twitter. So we either need two more followers on Twitter and two more on YouTube, or we need to have some people unfollowing and to get 107 across the board. Hi there, who's down here? It is Captain Britain, just jumping to say hi before I'm off to bed. What time is it for you, Captain Britain? Uh, I think it's pretty late, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm just having a look here on my Twitter account. Look right there, I've got 107 subscribers on Twitter. I've got 107 over on YouTube. Sorry about jumping around all over there. And I've got 109. I've got 107 on Twitch and 109 on YouTube. So we need some people to be unsubscribing. So please unfollow from YouTube. Maybe we get everyone over to 107. Yeah, sorry, it's too late, Captain Britain. Um, I normally do our Japanese language learning live streams at around this time. We're a little bit late today because sometimes I need to fight over the computer. Um, but yeah, I'll try to get some earlier streams in as well at some point so that we can try and match up with time zones. But sorry for that. You get to bed and uh, I will see you next time. Um, but thank you so much for being here and thank you to everyone else who's been following. I would like to give a special thank you to our latest follower, Mad Baby Donkey. I like that name. Thank you to Vic Starlight 91 for subscribing last week. And thank you to Pink Ranger for her 50 bits. Uh, that was really, really nice as well. Um, by the way, I have added a new thing. You unsubscribed. Thank you so much. We need to bring it down. Uh, yeah, we need to have two unsubscribes from YouTube to, to get it equal. And then, or, or we could get two extra followers on Twitch. That might be a, a better, a better solution to me trying to get everybody level. Um, I was, this week, I've done something a little bit I don't know whether this is a good idea or not. I have set up a blurb alert. YouTube should have 108 right now. Have you really unfollowed from YouTube? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, unfollowing Captain Britain. You can follow back later on when, uh, when the other numbers go up. Um, I've added something to Twitch. And I don't know if it's a good idea or if it's a terrible idea. Um, 
I've added sound alerts. And I don't know if this is like this, this could be a bad idea. For example, we can play relaxing Wii music on stream. Maybe, maybe. Let's see if this works. We can play relaxing Wii music. Um, we can play Pokemon music. There's all kinds of sound alerts available um, from Blurp. And what it is, let me just pull up my tablet so that you can see this. And this might be a terrible idea. Um, it might be a really, really bad idea. Uh, but let me just show you kind of like how this is supposed to work. So we'll just jump over to the tablet. And if I go into my channel, Stream Pokemon Go, you can see us there. And over in the chat right now, there's this new icon over at the top for Blurp Alerts. Um, let me just have a look here. Can you add custom sound alerts? Could you record yourself saying, who's that Pokemon in Japanese? Um, I could steal the Japanese, who's that Pokemon? Um, yeah, we can absolutely make custom alerts. So what I've been, uh, I've made a few and I've just been clipping other things. So like, for example, so if you look here on this screen, these blurp alerts are not mine. I did not make a Donald Trump alert. I'm not particularly interested in a Donald Trump alert. Um, but yeah, like if people are thinking of like maybe cheering bits, instead of just cheering bits, you could cheer an alert. Um, I have got some cheaper ones here. So I have uh, my favorites here are 25 bits. So we have the anime wow sound. You know what that sounds like, don't you? Hold on, I've just got to connect up my. Uh, the sound on my tablet to hear so that you can hear this. Give me a second while I try and connect up the sound. Okay. Please wait just a second. Something should pop up on the screen. Start now. Sound should be coming out in just a second. Okay. Let's hear the anime wow sound. I don't really like that sound, but you can hear it. You can hear it. Um, I have made a few sounds myself. There you go. You can see a little Anthony there at the top. Um, and there are some Anthony sounds. I've got a rather ridiculous sounding air. Um, I've got a Jana, bye bye. Um, and dumb ways to die. That's for when we're playing video games, not when we're streaming Japanese. So, Who's that thank you. <laughs> For playing Who's That Pokemon? Um, yeah, I've also added some of these as uh, channel point redemptions. So you don't actually need to use bits for them. So if you go into the channel points down here, I've added uh, Janet. I've added Play the Pokemon theme song, Relaxing Wii Music, Dumb Ways to Die. They're all hiding down there as channel points redemptions. And you get those for free while watching the stream anyway. So yeah, I think that could be interesting. I'm going to keep using these until it gets annoying. That's my plan. I'm going to keep using these until it gets annoying and we just don't want them anymore because, you know, it might get annoying. For now, I think we're good. So let's get back to work, shall we? Welcome to our language learning live stream. Um, what have I been doing over the last week with my studies? I'll tell you what I've been doing. I've been forgetting a lot of Japanese. Um, like, I take screenshots whenever there's something that I want to remember. I don't remember this. Like, here, there's a new word here. Eigo o something mas. I can't remember how to say that word. I'm going to have to Google it. Uh, let me have a look here. I'm going to have to Google it. This is study. Now, I thought study was benkyo, but there's another word here. Study would maybe learn. What is it? How do we say that word? Okay. Narau. Narau. Narau? Narai? There's an E at the end of that. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's Narai. Let's try that one. Narai. 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 I've forgotten so much this week. I think that, like, I haven't really been studying that hard. Here there's a new word. I know what it means. It's a photo. It means photo. I can't remember how to say it. And this happens sometimes. Like, 
I think that maybe if you do a few too many different new topics, or if you don't really take the time to like study and to do revision, you can learn a whole lot of new stuff and not remember it. So I'm going to have to kind of like go back into Duolingo and review this because I've forgotten so much. Um, yeah, I've forgotten so much over the past week. I remember some of it. I remember getting confused by the word hanase, 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 um, meaning to talk, right? Um, wait a second. Why is my screen not refreshing? Can you not see this? I'm on a different screen here. Oh, no. <laughs> um, something has gone wrong with that screen. Let me just try and fix it. Can I refresh this? I thought that you were looking at the same screen as me. This is going to be one of those streams, isn't it? Okay, how do I refresh this? Is there a way to turn it off, turn it back on again? Uh, hide. Now you can see. Unhide. Unhide. Are we back? Are we back? Can you see what I see? It's gone. I've killed it. Okay, and it's back. <laughs> that that was weird. Okay, I was showing you all of these words that I've forgotten over the last week. I was showing you this word, narai, maybe. Maybe that's what Google Translate says it is. Um, I was showing you the word for photo that I've forgotten over the last week. I was showing you this phrase. There's like, here they're talking about having five photos. There's some weird grammar going on here that I also forgot. And there's so many things that I need to catch up on. Um, and I think this happens to a lot of people when you're, you're trying to study something and you just kind of don't absorb what you're studying over a period of time. And it's easy to kind of like lose motivation. I'm not, I'm not losing motivation, but at least part of that is because I have this language learning live stream every Monday that I'm supposed to be doing with you guys. And that kind of forces me to make sure that I'm still studying, but it is super, super easy to lose motivation. But, but all hope is not lost. I spent weeks trying to remember this word right down here. I remember it now. Isogashi. Busy. So we're doing okay. Uh, uh, shumatsu made isogashi desu. Shumatsu made isogashi desu. I'm busy until the weekend. Mainichi wa isogashi desu. Okay. Um, yeah, I... That, that's all the stuff that I've forgotten over the last week. We'll, we'll review that a little bit later on. Um, I kind of like this. Here we go, guys. I was looking at this one, and for a moment, I was like, is that right? But it totally is. My brother's husband is Canadian. I like that. Nice job, Duolingo. My brother's husband is Canadian. Um, there's some weird grammar here, too. Kochira uh, katsuma no Maria des. This is grammar that I haven't come across until this week. Here they're using uh, a noun, like a title, like uh, Zuma, wife. I think this is the, the pronunciation is Zuma here. And then wife, not, not is like an apostrophe S, and then their name. So the title, not name. That's interesting. And... Like, I'm not really familiar with this yet. Again, we're going to get back into this uh, and try and make up for a lazy week of studying. But that that's something to pay attention to. Anything else? Um, I was hunting for ramenet. We're starting to run out. Sneak preview. This is our last glass bottle of ramenet. This, I, I don't know if we will have any next week. Um, but while on hunt of... Uh, on the hunt for mariner, I did find neko cider, cat cider. Don't know what that is. Lucky cat cider. Um, I also discovered that one word for husband is like lord or master in Chinese. 
I don't know what my wife would think about that. Yeah. And to cap off a week of feeling like I'm not studying Japanese very well. Um, I've been trying to follow some like Japanese Instagram uh, accounts and Twitter accounts and things like that. And we've talked about um, uh, Rara-san before. And uh, she plays Pokemon Go and she also does some really good Pokemon Go drawings as well. Um, you can follow her at Rala underscore pen on Twitter. And I think it might be the same account on Instagram as well. Um, we were playing Pokemon Go on Saturday and there was an event here. And I'm trying to read what she wrote here. So let's try this. Let's try this. Let's see how much we can actually read. Um, because I I feel like I'm getting it. I'm getting a little bit better at this. So the first sentence is kyo. Kyo, meaning like today, right? Kyo. Uh, san chikan dake no ibento. Um, I don't know what dake, dake means, uh, but san chikan, san chikan. Is that san? Is that the right pronunciation? San chikan, three hour something, no ibento. I'm guessing that means event. Uh, furendo ship. Furendo ship. Furendo ship. Uh, day. Friendship day. So this is today's three hour event, Friendship Day. And I was like, I can read that. And I wanted to answer her in Japanese. But I couldn't. I couldn't. I didn't know what to write, so I just answered her in English. I finished the collection challenge, but I didn't get any shiny Pokemon or lucky trades. And then uh, Rada, uh, Rada-san, she answered me with... Let me just find it here. Okay, here it is. She gave me this really long answer, and I think I know some of what she's saying, but I can't read all of it. So let's just see how much we can read. Okay, the first one is shiny. I don't know how to say that in Japanese, but I've seen it so much on Pokemon Go accounts that I know that that word means shiny. Shiny, kira, something, something. Deshitane, watashi mo shiny ni wa uh, come out, imasen deshita. Does that mean that she also didn't get any shinies? Like, no shinies came out for her? Maybe. Maybe that's what that means. Demo. Something, something, something. What? Ketto. Uh, come out. Dayote. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Or something. Re something. Deshita. <laughs> okay, I think I did a translate here. Okay, it was a shame that the colors were different. Huh, I didn't meet different colors either. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that is saying there, but when it says I didn't meet different colors either, basically she's saying I didn't encounter any shinies. But it seems that I was able to get experience points. Now, again, um, in Japanese, they don't really talk about the subject very much in these sentences. So maybe it's, it seems that we were able to get XP or I was able to get XP. Thank you for your hard work. That's a really, really nice, well-written piece of Japanese there that I just couldn't answer. And again, I answered in English. Yes, we did get the XP. I used the lucky egg too. I need more XP to get to level 43. Um, so we have uh, Rara-san writing in Japanese, me writing in English, and I feel like I need to uh, study harder. Let's study harder. Welcome to our Japanese language learning live stream. We're going to jump into Duolingo, and we're going to try to get some study done today. Um, today we are drinking peach ramune. Um, I'm not sure. Hold on a second. There we go. We're drinking peach ramune today. It says momo, momo ramune. 
Do you think it's going to be nice? If this is your first time uh, watching, we've been doing Ramune rankings. Um, let me just show you. Um, now, we've been doing Ramune rankings. I've got high hopes for Peach here. So, starting at the bottom, our worst Ramune ever was the Hatta Orange. But Hatta also have the best Ramune that we've tried. They've got Strawberry as well. So, you know. The brand isn't necessarily indicative of like the quality of the Ramune from my totally subjective point of view. Um, we've had bad peach down there at number nine. We've also had good peach way up there at number two. So let's find out whether Yorozuya Ramune is good peach or bad peach. It smells like not much at all. The peach flavor, the peach smell isn't that strong. At first blush, it's not the best peach. It's okay. It's not terrible. But it doesn't taste like the best peach so far. Okay, guys. Shall we jump into our Duolingo? Mikachu was promoted to the Gold League. Huh. Let's give Mikachu a high five. I think he's in bed right now. It's very late where he is. He's normally here for uh, some of our streams. But Mikachu is doing really well. That is, uh, Pikachu plays Roblox. And uh, let's just check up on his XP here. He has only been doing Duolingo uh, for a few weeks. Where are you, Mikachu? Whoa! Mikachu's managed to get 1,000 XP in just a week. Um, he's doing well. He worked particularly hard on Saturday. Uh, but he is now in the Gold League. Hopefully, Mikachu is going to uh, do really well at learning Japanese. Uh, hopefully, he's going to do better than us. That's the plan. Hopefully, he's going to do better than us. <sighs> Are you ready to begin? Mikachu tried Hawaiian as well. Wow. Okay, then. Let's begin. I know, we've been all over the place here today so far. Um, what is it that I need to catch up on? So those things were things like study. Uh, there are a few different things, weren't there, that we didn't remember. I think those were, they were either hobbies or activities. So I think uh, if there's nobody here in the chat right now, I'm just going to jump in and do the ones that I feel weak at, starting with activity. And then we'll do hobbies, and then we'll see how we go. Okay, then. What is the correct character for Shigoto? Shigoto. I know that one. Shigoto. Right there. Shigoto. Um, my question about Shigoto. Shigoto is work, right? And there was another word for word as well, right? It was uh, Hataraki. Hataraki is also work. And I'm not sure what the difference is. But here we have Shigoto. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, we have uh, koto, 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 uh, hataraki, hataraki, um, shigoto, shigoto, uh, kai, kai, jikan, jikan. So the first one, uh, koto is a thing, thing. Uh, shigoto uh, is work, but hataraki may be work as well. Um, kai is to buy something, and jikan is time or an hour. So let's go down the hiragana. We have shigoto. We know that one. Shigoto. Hataraki. Hataraki. Kai. Kai. Uh, koto. 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 And jikan. Jikan. I know these. I'm wondering whether activity is not my weak point. Maybe it's hobbies. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, koto, koto, a thing. Koto, koto, koto. Okay, we have shikoto, kai, uh, ki, jikan, and koto. Let's try this again. Shikoto. Shikoto. Oh, shikoto, shikoto, not shikoto, shikoto. Okay, kai. Kai. Ki. Ki. Jikan. Jikan. And, uh, koto. Koto. Okay. Shigoto. So we have ki, which means ki. to come. Ki, come. Uh, koto. Koto. Um, I'm guessing it means something. 
、uh, Shikoto is work. Shigoto? Kai is to buy something. And Jikan is time or an hour. What is your job? お仕事は何ですか Maybe? Let's add an O at the beginning because I'm guessing that will. I think I remember that being like more polite. お仕事は何ですかお仕事は何ですか For some reason, it didn't put nani. お仕事は何ですか What do you think? Do you think that's right? It is. お仕事は何ですか Okay. We're in this together. We're practicing with 13,000 people on Duolingo. That's rare. Normally, this time it's like 11 or 12. 今日はパーティーをします。今日はパーティーをします。今日は is today. パーティーをします。I think that's I'm having a party today, right? I'm having a party today. Yeah. Okay, so 今日は today、uh, with what?、Uh, party is just party. おします。So I'm having a party or I'm doing a party, holding a party. Oh, this one is I will not buy chairs. Isu. Now, buy was、uh, kai. Kai. We say kai masen, maybe. Isu wa kai masen. Isu wa kai masen. Oh, masen. Maybe, isu wa kaimasen. Is that it? Sounds a little bit simple. Isu wa kaimasen. It's correct. We're doing well. Kyo wa nani o shimasu ka? Kyo wa nani o shimasu ka? Kyo wa nani o shimasu ka? Kyo wa today, nani, what o shimasu ka? What will you do today? What will you do today? It doesn't say you anywhere in the question,、um, but if I'm asking you, then it's you. Oh, what's the next one? I like to work. Ski. Shikoto. Shikoto. O hataraki. Shikoto. Now, I'm, I'm wondering how this works here because, like, how do you say I like to verb? Shikoto wa? Shikoto wa ski des? Sounds wrong, but let's just try it. Shikoto wa ski des. Shikoto wa ski des. Huh, that grammar was easier than I thought it would be. Shikoto wa ski des. This peach ramenet is not as terrible as the,、um, the other one before. Like, there was one bad peach ramenet, it had like a bad flavor. This one is just inoffensive. Inoffensive.、Uh, shikoto wa、uh, suki desu. Suki desu. Suki. 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 Shikoto wa suki desu.、Uh, I like to work. Kyo wa ie ni imasu. 今日は家にいます。今日は家にいます。I'm at home today. Kyo wa ie ni mas. Kyo wa ie ni i m a s Kyo wa ie ni i m a s はい、今日は家,家にいます。今日は家にいます。What will you buy? 何を買いますか Can you just start a sentence with 何何
o kai masu ka we need a ka because it's a question nani o kai masu ka it works we're just guessing our way through this excuse me nani o kai masu ka sorry i've got gas from yorozuya peach ramen I'm hoping that you don't hear things like that because, uh, like, the microphone struggles to pick up my voice. It would be really bad if it picks up burps, but it doesn't hear it pick up my voice. Uh, nani o kaimasu ka? What will you buy today? Or what will you buy from today? Wa? Eh? O wa? Eh? O wa? I said before, o wa nan desu ka? But according to this, you can just say, o wa? Huh. Um, the wa sounds like it's rising, right? Oshigoto wa? Does that make it more of a question? Oshigoto wa nan desu ka? Oshigoto wa? Sounds like a question. What's your job? Oshigoto wa? Uh, if it's a job, could I say gakusei? Gakusei desu. Is that a job? Uh, I will buy a table. Table ga table o table ga kaimas table o kaimas. Well, we'll do table first. Te long te bu ru table. Now, if we were counting, we would use ga. Right, you can see it up there, even like the, the predictions here. Table ga. Um, but if you were just saying, I will buy a table. Well, a table is counting a table. Table ga. Kaimasu. Let's try that. Table ga kaimasu. Table o kaimasu. Here's me trying to be smart. I'm failing. Table o. There's a na here. Party ga suki desu. I still don't know when we use ga. And when we use ga. Uh, well, ga is ga. Uh, when we use na. And when we use wa. And when we use o. I'm still confused by it all. Party ga sukimasu. So, suki desu. I wonder if ga here is like the party. Like, if I say party wa suki desu, is that like I like every party or do we always use ga with suki? I don't know. Um, I like, I'm going to say the party. It says that I'm right. Uh, I mean, like, if I wrote I like parties, would it still say that I was right? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's make this a little bit harder. I'm staying at home today. Kyo wa iye. Wait, staying. Kyo wa iye ni imasu. I don't know. Kyo u wa ie ni ie ni imasu. Okay. Kyo wa ie ni imasu. I will buy a table. It's not ga, it's o. Table. Table. Ru. Don't forget the duck ten. Table o. Not ga. Kaimasu. Table o kaimasu. We're doing okay. We are doing okay. Um, here's the thing. I, I don't think that activity one was my weak point. I think it was hobbies. Sorry. Sam. That mute button doesn't do anything. There's a mute button right there. It didn't work. No thanks. 
So activity one wasn't my problem. I'm guessing the problem was hobby. Um, we do have a few other topics here. We also have like a few broken eggs over at the top. I haven't had the new levels unlocked yet. So some people have got like an extra crown where you can do up to level five here. And then there's another level on top of that. Um, that hasn't popped for me yet. So I guess it could pop in the coming weeks. Um, some friends who are doing Duolingo on iOS already have that. I don't have it yet. But um, I guess I should have a look at hobbies. And let me just have a very, very, very quick check. Because it might be because nobody wants to watch Anthony learning Duolingo. But I'm just wondering Anthony where people Duolingo. are. Oh, that's my voice. Um, ordinarily, we have a few people in, in the chat. Um, but maybe everyone's gone to sleep. We did start late. Um, but I'm just checking that we are actually streaming Duolingo and that it doesn't say that we are streaming Pokemon or something. Oh my God, it says that we're streaming Pokemon Go. What? We're not streaming Pokemon Go. I set this up before the stream. I said Duolingo. I said Duolingo. That's why nobody's watching. Stream information updated. We are now learning Japanese with Duolingo. How did that happen? <laughs> we'll see whether anyone jumps into the chat now that we actually are streaming the thing that we say that we're streaming. How did that happen? To anyone who jumps in a second, welcome to our language learning live stream. We are finally streaming Duolingo. No, we are not streaming Pokemon Go. Um, are you ready to begin? We're going to do Hobby 1 because we're struggling with this. Now, quick tips. It's nice to be nice to other people. Yeah, I think it is. When doing something for someone else, you can use ni after the person. Okay, ni. Uh, I wrote a letter to my mother yesterday. Uh, kino, okaasan. Okaasan ni tegami o kakimashita. Okaasan ni. Uh, so yesterday I wrote a letter to my mother. Um uh, okay. I always use Duolingo. We use words like itsumo, itsumo. or itsumo, itsumo. and yoku. 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 Uh, to say how often we do things in Japanese. So, kanocho wa itsumo. This is a word that I forgot. Take photos. How do we say that? Kanojo wa itsumo shashin wo torimasu. Shashin? Kanojo wa itsumo shashin wo torimasu. Kanojo wa itsumo shashin wo torimasu. Torimasu, to take a photo. Okay. Okay, we've got that. I sometimes, I, I remember this one, uh, tokidoki. One person. Uh, I'm not sure when we use that. Okay. Oh. I, I, I just jumped down there. She doesn't run very much. I don't listen to music very much. There's a lot of extra verbs here. Okay. Okay. Uh, to count flat things, remember we are going to use mai. Mai. Jump. Let's try this. Okay, this is the unit that I'm struggling with. Um, let's see if we can get this right this time and try and remember some of these words. Eiga means movie. Eiga. Eiga. Okay, good start. Eiga, movie. Uh, over there we also have. Oh. I think I know that word. Um, as you may know, I live in Hong Kong. And as a result of living in Hong Kong, I see Chinese characters all the time. And I think that says manga, like uh, Japanese comic books. Oh, I can't click it. I can't click it. I think it says manga. We'll find out later on, I imagine. But eiga is movie, I think, maybe. Okay, what have we got here? Shigeru. Eiga. Ippun. 
、oh, I, I, I should check these as we go. Shigeru. Shigeru. Shigeru is the Japanese name that they use for basically everybody in Duolingo.、Uh, Honda Shigeru des. Eiga.、Uh, Eiga. Which I think is movie.、Uh, Ippun. Ippun. Meaning one minute. Oh, how do we say this one? Kaki. Kaki. It's either to write or to draw, and I'm not sure which. Is this one me? Me. 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 Which means to see. Okay. So let's start with kaki. 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 To either to write or to draw. I'm hoping Duolingo will tell us in a moment. Shigeru. Shigeru. Okay. Shigeru is a Japanese man's name, I believe. Eiga.、Uh, Eiga. Eiga. A movie. Mi. Mi. To see.、Uh, Ippun. 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 One minute. Ippun. Nihun. Sampun. Yonpun. Yopun. Yonpun. Yopun. Gofun. Rock. I don't know. Eiga wa mimaska? Eiga ga mimaska. Do you watch movies? Ega, Ega wa mimaska. Ega wa mimaska. Ega wa mimaska. Ega wa mimaska. It's hard to say. Ega wa mimaska. Ega wa mimaska. Ega. Ega wa mimaska. Ega wa mimaska. Ega wa. Ega wa mimaska. Ega. Ega. She's saying like Ega. Um, when we clicked on the vocabulary before, it said e n g a But here it sounds like e g a I don't know which one we should be saying. e g a wa m i m a s ka. Do you watch movies?、Oh, yes. Okay. Mi. Mi. Namae. Namae. Bo. Bo. Kaki. 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 e g a e g a e i g a Who knows? Who knows which one we should say?、Uh, kaki. Kaki. Maybe to write, maybe to draw.、Uh, there's no way to tell. Bo. Bo. e i g a e i g a e i g a Namae. Namae. Somebody's name. Mi. Mi. Ashita, e i g a o m i m a s I, I saw Ashita on the screen. Ashita means tomorrow. Eiga. Ashita, eiga o mimas. It sounded like no mimas.、Uh, Ashita, eiga o mimas. I will watch a movie tomorrow. Ashita, eiga o mimas. So we're using o because we are watching the movie. So it's like the object of the sentence. <laughs> o is the object. Okay. Ashita, eiga o mi. Ashita, eiga o mi mas. Ashita, eiga o mi. My mouth isn't working. Ashita, eiga o mi mas. Ashita, eiga o mi mas. You're getting good at this. I'm not. I am not a little bird. I did not write this book. That, that's kaki. Kaki has got to be right. Right?、Um, oh, okay. How would I say this? I did not write this book. Kono hon wa kaki masen. Kono hon wa kaki masen. Kono hon 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 wa e o Kaki. 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 Masen. Masen. No. Desta. Oh, past tense. Yeah, I forgot that. Okay. Kono hon no. Kaki masen desta. I did not write this book. If I didn't do the past tense, it would be I don't write this book.、Um, right? 
I had it in my head that the word ought is often not used in negatives. Um, obviously, it's used in negatives here. Eiga o mini i k i m a s Eiga movie o ni o mi. Eiga o mini i k i m a s Eiga o mi ni. Eiga o mini i k i m a s Mini i k i m a s u i k i m a s i k i m a s to go. I'm going. To the cinema? I'm going to watch a movie. I'm going to see a movie. Huh, that's surprisingly similar to what we would say in English. Eiga o mi ni ikimasu. Eiga o mi. Eiga o mi ni ikimasu. Eiga o mi. Eiga o mi. I'm going to see a movie. This is a mouthful. Yeah, that's as good as we're going to get today. I wrote a new book. Wait, new? I was going to say that we haven't learned the word new. I don't think the word new has come up. In Duolingo at all. But I know the word new, it's in my head somewhere. New, 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 new. It is definitely in my head somewhere. Three characters, begins with an A. Asahi, that's a drink. Asashi? Ash, sh, ah, ah. What's new? Atarashi. Atarashi. New. Atarashi. Atarashi hon o kaki mas mashta mashta. Atarashi atarashi no atarashi hon hon o kaki 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 kaki. Atarashi hon o kaki mashta. mashta. Okay, we've got a new word.、Um, I think that's right. Yay. What was it again? Hatarashi? Hatarashi? Oh, it's gone. I can't play it back. I can't play it back. New. Hatarashi. Hatarashi hon. Kaki o kaki. Kaki mashita. Kono hon wo kaki masen de shita. この本を書きませんでした。I didn't write this book. この本は。この本。この本を書きませんでした。Oh, not は。We got that one wrong before. この本を書きませんでした。書きませんでした。書き。書きませんでした。この本を書きます。この本を書きませんでした。この本の書きませんでした。I did not write this book. あの本を書きました。I don't know. Yesterday I saw a movie. 今日 is today. この。この no, 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 この。Oh, I forgot how to say yesterday. 昨日。この。What no? Yesterday. Kino.、Uh, uh, oh, my mind is starting to go blank. This week, I don't know what's going on. Do I need sugar? Do I need chocolate? Kino. I've, I've said the movie ten, I've said the word movie ten times during this live stream. Movie. Eiga. Okay. Kino. Eiga. O. Kaki. Mas. Kino. Kino. Eiga. Eiga. O. Kin. I said Kaki Mas. That's 
to write. I wrote a movie yesterday. Me, Mashita. Kino, Ega, O, me, Mashita. Kino, Ega, O, me, Mashita. I saw a movie yesterday. I hope you're enjoying watching me struggle. Atarashi Hongo Kakimashtaka? Atarashi. Atarashi Hongo Kakimashtaka? Hon o Kakimashtaka? Atarashi Hongo Kakimashtaka? Oh, Atarashi. That was the, that, that word new. Atarashi Hongo Kakimashtaka? Atarashi. Atarashi Hongo Kakimashtaka? Hon o Kakimashtaka? Did you write a new book? Atarashi Hongo Kakimashtaka? Did you write a new book? Hatarashi. Atarashi. Atarashi, not Hatarashi. Atarashi Hongo Kakimashtaka? Hon. Hon. O. Kaki. Kaki. Mashtaka. Mashtaka. Atarashi Hon o Kakimashtaka. Did you write a new book? Okay, we're getting through this. We are struggling our way through this. Did you see Professor Honda yesterday? Professor Honda? Honda sensei. A kino. Honda sensei. O. Mi. Mashita ka? <laughs> kino. Kino. Honda sensei. Honda sensei. Let's do this slowly. Kino. Okay. Sensei. Kino. Kino. Honda. Honda. Sensei. Sensei. O. Mi. Mi. Mashita ka? Mashita ka? Kino. Honda sensei o mimashita ka? Okay. Kino. Eiga o mimashita. Kino. Eiga. Kino. Eiga o mimashita. Kino. Eiga. Kino. Kino. Eiga o mimashita. O. Mi. Mashita. I saw. A movie yesterday. Kino. Kino. Ega. O. Oh, mi. Mi. Mashita. Kino. Ega. O mi mashita. Did you write a new book? Atarashi. Not hatarashi. Atarashi. Hon. O. Kaki mashita ka? Atarashi. Atarashi. Hon. Hon. O. O. Kaki. 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 Mashita ka. Mashita ka. Atarashi hon o kaki mashita ka. Atarashi hon o kaki mashita ka. Atarashi hon no kaki mashita ka. Did you write a new book? Yeah. Okay, let's make this harder. I watch movies sometimes. What was sometimes? Toki toki. Toki toki eiga. Mi mas. Toki doki. Toki doki. Toki doki. Ega. Ega. O. Mi. Mas. That's it. Toki doki. Ega o mi mas. Oh, I thought it was the last one. I was waiting for the da da. It didn't come. I did not write this book. Kono hon. O. Ka. Kaki, <laughs> kono hon o, I can never remember whether it's kaki or kaki. Kono hon o, kaki masen deshita. Okay. Kono hon, kono hon. O, o, kaki, 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 masen, masen. kaki masen deshita. deshita. I did not write this book. Kono hon o kakimasen deshita. Yeah, we got this. Kono hon o kakimasen deshita. I did not write this book. Finally, we're doing okay. Go away. Why? I can't mute it. The mute button isn't working. No thanks. What's the point in having a mute button if you can't mute it? Okay, um, 
is anybody here in the chat? If anybody is, do you have any suggestions for what we want to do? I think that I'm going to probably keep going with hobbies and uh, try to improve that. We're still at level one, um, but I'm still struggling a little bit with this, and I'm going to try and do a little bit better. That's what I'm going to try to do. I will just hang around on hobbies and just work my way through this. Normally what I will do, and again over the last week, this is not like a great example because over the last week, I have been a little bit busy to be honest. Like um, I've been busy with real world work. So I haven't been investing a crazy amount of time into Duolingo. Um, but I've done some, I haven't been completely lazy. But I feel like it is really easy to lose motivation with study. Um, and it's easy to feel like you're not learning things, right? It's easy to feel like that. And I feel it. Like over the last week or so, I feel like I'm not absorbing everything that I'm learning. But at the same time, I'm kind of aware that these feelings can be transient, right? These feelings do do come and go. And I think that if I felt like this over a month, like if I was doing a whole month of study and I felt like I'm not learning anything, this isn't working for me, then I would probably try and shake things up a little bit and see whether I can do things differently. Um, but I think it's important to be aware when you're studying these things that sometimes you will feel like you're learning a lot. Sometimes you won't. And sometimes you will struggle a little bit with things. And every time I do, uh, I try to remember the stuff that I struggled with before that's a lot easier now. Like I remember when we first started um, looking at counting and you saw things like uh, 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 hitori, hutari, and words like that. And I was like, that that's just annoying. And, you know, there, there were things that would come up where it wouldn't make sense in my head. Why is it suddenly a different word here? Um, but you just get used to it. You know, with a little bit of practice and a little bit of effort, you just get used to it. And it becomes normal. And the things that felt hard suddenly feel less hard. So I'm going to keep going with hobby. Now, if I had studied all the way up to level five, if I'd been doing this again and again and again, and I was still really struggling with it, then uh, then we could talk. But for now, I'm going to keep going and hopefully we can get this. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's keep going with hobbies. What is the correct character for Kami? Kami, Hami. I don't know. What is Kami? It's not this one. This one is weak. Shu. That's like Shumatsu. Shu. I don't know these two words at the bottom, so I'm guessing this one. Kami. Kami. Kami was, was it a letter? Like writing a letter to somebody? Maybe? I don't know. Kami. Okay. Nomi? Yomi. Yomi. Not nomi. <laughs> Yomi. Yomi, I think, is read. Uh, oh. The next word is song. What was song? I remember when we were doing... Uh, what was it? When we were doing Kawaii Nihongo, that other app. This word came up when they were teaching hiragana. So there was a hiragana flashcard on Kawaii Nihongo, and the girl was singing. Uh, Riko. Riko was singing. And it was the hiragana u, I think. So it's u something. Now, I'm looking down the right. We have kaki, uh, te, uh, kami, uta. Uta. I'm guessing that this next one is Uta, just because I have this memory in my head of playing Kawaii Nihongo like two months ago, 
and Rico, the character in the game, singing. And it was the character U. And I remember we were doing it on stream and uh, Tanenobu-san was in the chat and he said that it is maybe Uta. 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 There we go. Te, te is hand. We know this from karate. Te. Kami. Kami. And kaki. Kaki. Okay. What was this first one? Was it nomi? Yomi? Yomi? Yomi. Yomi. Okay. Kaki is this last one. Kaki. Kaki. I'm still not sure if it's right or draw. I think it's right. Te means hand. Te. Um, kami is letter, maybe? Kami. Kami. Uta is to sing. Uta. It's either to sing or it's a song. And then we have yomi. 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 Okay, we're doing good. Let's keep going. Te is hand. Te. Uh, these other characters, the top one here means out or exit, Te. I think. The next one is half. Han. And then we have sheep. Hitsuji. And they look kind of similar. Uh, but Te. this one is te. te. Okay, we have uta. Uta. Which means either sing or song. Mi. Mi. Which means to see. Yomi. 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 <laughs> te. Te. And kami. 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 Yomi. Yomi. Kami. kami. Uta. Uta. Okay, so we'll go down the right hand side uh, with the hiragana. We're starting with te. Te. Hand. Yomi. Which means to read, maybe. Yomi. Mi. To mi. see. Kami, which I think might be letter, maybe, kami. Kami. And uta, which is sing or song. Uta. Duolingo hasn't told us yet. Okay, which is the correct character for uta? This uta. one. There's a couple of other words here we know. Ototo. Ototo. Which is younger brother. This one. Raku. I think that's medicine, maybe, or happiness. Happiness. Um, and nomi? In. Yeah, it's still nomi, right? Okay. Uta. Uta. Sing or song. We are working hard and we are learning new words. We are. Words like uta. Hon wo taksan yomimasu. Hon wa. Book. Taksan. Taksan? Is that a lot? I read a lot of books. I read a lot of books. Boom. Hon o taksan yomimas. Hon o taksan yomimas. Hon o taksan yomimas. Hon o. I read a lot of books. I don't. I don't read enough books. Um, I used to. I've got a pile of books that I haven't read yet. Um, alongside a virtual pile of games that I haven't finished. Um, and a whole stack of Duolingo lessons that I haven't finished. But I'm making the most progress on Duolingo. I will sing a song today. Wait. I was wondering whether uta was sing or song. Now we've been told I will sing a song today. Gosh darn it. Um... Um, uta. I don't know. Let me have a look here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So look at the bottom here. We've got our o. Oh. Oh. We've got what? What? We've got uh, kyo. 
And we need kyo for this sentence because it's today. Uta. Uta. So, uta, I said, is either sing or song. Yomi. Yomi. Which is to read. So, that's nothing to do with what、Yomi. we're doing. But look at this. There's an uta, and then there's an e at the end. So, is that utai? Utai. Is that the verb? So, like, mas. Mas. Tegami. Tegami. So, I'm going to guess here. Uta, uta is song. That's my guess. Uta is song. O, because the song is the object of the sentence. Utai, utai could be the verb, maybe. And I'm guessing it's the verb because, like a lot of the other verbs that we've learned, like yomi, yomi has got a kanji character followed by a little hiragana character afterward.、Yomi. So I'm guessing that utai is a verb as well. Mas. Okay. We have logicked our way through the sentence.、Uh, kyo uta. What do you think? Logic to our way through. Is this going to be correct? I'm so happy. After a week of feeling bad, you know, regarding my study, I'm so happy. Kyo uta o utaimasu. Uta wa utaimasen. I don't sing songs. I do not sing songs. I do. I sing songs.、Um, one song that I've had in my head all week is right here. You ready? Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Dumb ways to die. So many. I'm sorry.、Uh, I've had that song. I, I don't know whether you've seen that video on YouTube. It was an ad for,、um, it was an ad for I think it was Melbourne、uh, Metro, like the, the, the Australian train company.、Um, and they did a campaign years ago called Dumb Ways to Die, listing a whole bunch of ways that people might kill themselves, like Darwin Award style. And they end it with like ways that people might end up dying around trains.、Um, I don't know how controversial that video might have been. Like, you know, a lot of people dying around trains might actually be deliberately doing so.、Um, but like, it was a safety campaign, and the video was viewed like. Tens of millions, hundreds of millions of times. So, in that sense, I guess it was a successful campaign. But the song is such an earworm. And I was looking for like sound bites that I could clip to use in live streams. So, like if I were playing a game, if I was playing a game and I died again and again, you know, maybe it would be nice to have a, a sound clip to play. And、uh, I was playing Celeste. On the Nintendo Switch, Celeste is a game where you die thousands of times. And I'm, I'm not joking here. If you ever play Celeste, you will die thousands of times trying to finish the game.、Um, and I have died a whole bunch of dumb ways playing that game. And the Dumb Ways to Die song suddenly got stuck in my head. So here we have I do not sing songs. I do. And I sing them badly. Like dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. I will read the letter. Is it kami? Letter. Oh, hand letter. Tegami. Tegami. So kami with hand, te in front of it has become tegami. Not kami. Tegami. Tegami. It's going to be o because it's the object.、Uh, to read, yomi. Yomi. Mas. Mas. Tegami o yomi mas. I think that's right. I'm starting to get these right. Tegami o yomi mas. 
友達に手紙を書きます。By the way, just because I'm getting these right today doesn't mean that I'll get them right tomorrow. But it's fine because I'll review it again tomorrow.、Uh, 友達 friends. 友達に手紙を書きます。I write letters to my friend. Maybe. I write letters, a letter to my friend.、Uh, 友達に。友達に手紙を書きます。手紙,手紙を。友達に手紙を書きます。Okay. 友達に手紙を書きます。Uh, I write letters to my friends. And back in the tips page, it did say that if you do something for somebody, we're going to use に。に。友達に手紙を書きます。Let's keep going. I will read a lot of books. I think it's just going to be I read a lot of books, right? It's not going to be I will read a lot of books. So, oh, what was a lot? Something, something, sun. Something, something, sun. Taksan. Taksan. I saw that. I, I didn't remember it. Taksan、uh, hon. Is it taksan hon? Or would it be hon? たくさん読みます。Does たくさん attach to the verb or does it attach to the books? Let's see. たくさん。Okay, let's just try this. たくさん本。たくさん本。お。飲み読み。読み、not 飲み。<laughs> 飲み is something different. たくさんを読みます。It's probably wrong. It is wrong. Hon no taksan yomimas. It's wrong. Tegami wa kakimaska? Tegami wa kakimaska? Tegami wa. What was t e g a m i Oh, tegami letter. Tegami wa kakimaska? Tegami wa. かきますか Do you write letters? Right? てがみは,手紙はかき,かきますか,ますか I don't know why it wouldn't be てがみをかきますか Because do you write letters? てがみ is the object of the sentence, right? So I don't know why it's not てがみをかきますか Excuse me. てがみはかきますか Uta. Uta. Uta was singing. We learned that from Tanenobu san. Singing. Uta. Not Utai. Uta. Uta. Tegami o yomimas. Tegami o. Tegami o yomimas. Wait, this time they use o. So when it was a question, they just used what? And for a statement, they're using o. I guess if it's a statement, The letter is actually a real thing. But if it's a question, like, does it grammatically exist yet? Just like I was saying, like, should we use wa in the negative?、Um, I, okay. Tegami o yomimas. Tegami o. Tegami. 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 Where have you gone, Tegami? Tegami o. Letters. Tegami o yomimas. Yomi. Yomi. Mas. Mas. Oh, not sorry. Do you read letters? Not do you write letters? If it was do you write letters, it would be tegami. So if it's I write letters, tegami o. I'm guessing o. Kakimas. But this is tegami o. Yomi. Mas. Nomi. Yomi. Yomi. I will write the letter. Okay. Great work. Let's make this harder. Please do. I do not sing songs. Uta. Ute. Uta. 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 Okay. Uta. O. Utai. Masem. 
Noni Podesta. Uta, 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 uta. Let me have a look. Uta. Uta. Wa. Wa. Utai. Utai. Masen. Masen. Uta wa utai masen. I do not sing songs because it scares away people watching the stream. I will read a lot of books. The word a lot of taksan. Taksan, that was the word. And it was attached to the verb. It wasn't attached to the noun, right? So, hon no, hon no, taksan yomi mas. Right? Hon o taksan. Taksan. Yomi. Yomi. Mas. Hon o taksan yomi mas. Hon no taksan yomi mas. We got this. It's not that difficult. What time is it? Stop playing music. No thanks. I'm so sorry. This is supposed to be ad free viewing. Okay then, let us continue, shall we? Um, let's keep going with hobbies. I want to keep going with this because I feel like we are actually making progress. And uh, that is far better than I felt about this for a whole week. So let's keep going. You watch. They're going to suddenly make this difficult and then I will lose my motivation again a little bit. Sambo. Sampo. Sampo is walking, I think. Sampo. Sampo is walking. Okay. So we have a whole bunch of words that I don't know. <laughs> okay, what's this first one? Eh. Eh. Which eh? It's just an eh. Kami. Kami. Eiga. Eiga. Sampo. Sampo. And it looks like a cat, but it's not. Kaki. Kaki. Wait, wasn't there something else that was kaki? There's another kaki. Okay, so kami is a letter. Kami. Or paper, maybe. Uh, eiga is movie. Eiga. Uh, kaki is that word at the bottom kaki. that I don't know. E is this word e. that I don't know. And sampo is walking. Sampo. Like going for a walk as opposed to walking somewhere. Sampo shimasu. Sampo shimasu. I'm going on a walk. I go on walks. Sampo shimasu. I like to go on walks. Sampo shimasu. I go for walks. Mi. Mi. This word air, and we have no idea what it means. E. Uh, yomi. Yomi. To read. Sampo. Sampo. To go on a walk. And this word that we don't know. Kaki. Kaki. Okay. Yomi. Yomi. To read. E. E. Something. Mi. Mi. To see. Sampo. To go on a walk. Sampo. Kaki. Don't know what Kaki. that means. We'll find out. Sampo ga suki desu. I like going on walks. I like going on walks. Hai, sampo ga suki desu. Sampo ga suki desu. Sampo ga suki desu. I like going on walks. I will draw a picture. Wait, one of these words is draw. One of these words is draw, which means which means that that word that I was showing you earlier wasn't draw, it was write. Kaki, right? Was kaki the word for write? But wait, what? Wait. Kaki. Kaki. Wait a second. I'm going to have to Google Translate this. Is the word for draw and the word for write pronounced the same way? Really? Okay, okay. I'm just going to Google Translate this. Please wait a moment. The word for draw in Japanese is doro. No, that's not what I'm looking for. 
ドロー。That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this word. Wait for it. Kaku. Kaku. To draw. But how about to write? Kaku. Kaki. Kaku. The word for write is. Kaku. No. The word to write and the word to draw are pronounced the same way. But they're written differently. I'm not going crazy. Well, that's good. Like in conversation, we'll just say kaku, kaki. But we have to remember which one's which. Now, I think that I will remember it because I knew that the other one was either draw or write. This one here looks a bit like a cat, and you could draw a cat. That's how I'm going to remember it. Done. Okay, then I will draw a picture. A picture is. Damn. This one. Eh. Eh. I'm guessing that eh is picture because it's not walk, it's not mass, it's not that cat. Eh. Or kaki. Mass. My process of elimination. I'm sure this is right. Eh o kaki mas. I draw pictures. Sampo shimasen. Sampo shimasen. I don't go on walks. I do not go on walks. Sampo shimasen. I do not go on walks. I do.、Um, I don't run. No, never. I go on walks. Sampo shimasen. Sampo shimas. Sampo shimas. Sampo shimas. Sampo shimas. Sampo shimas. I go on walks. I don't go on walks. Sampo shimas. Sampo shimas. Nan no e o kakimaska? Nan no e o. Nan no e o kakimashta? Nan no e o kakimaska? I'm guessing that it's going to be like, what will you draw? But I don't know. So we've got nan. Nan. No. Is it nan no? Nan no e o kakimaska? Nan no e o kakimaska. So I'm guessing that this means, what will you draw? Like, nan no e. Nan no e. What picture? Not what will you draw. What picture will you draw? That's what I'm guessing here. Nan no e o kakimaska. Nan no e o kakimaska? It looks right. What picture will you draw? Okay. We're getting good at hobbies. Sampo, sampo, shimasen. Is that right? Sampo. しません。Easy. 散歩しません。I don't go on walks. That little hyperlink down there to blurp is annoying me. I'll turn that off next time. <laughs> I'm going to go into the settings and tell blurp that when it plays sounds, don't bother putting the link in the chat. 絵は描きません。絵は描きません。絵は描きません。絵は Okay, so e is a picture. E wa, wa is the preposition for that. Kakimasen.、Uh, I don't draw pictures. E wa. E wa kakimasen. E wa kakimasen. Hon wa kakimasen. Is that right? Is that it? Can we just do it like that? E wa kakimasen. Hon wa kakimasen. But it's a different kaki. What picture will you draw? A nan no. Nan no e. Nan no e o. Nan no e o kakimasu ka? Nan no e. Nani? Nan no e. E. O. O. Kaki. Kaki. Masu ka? Nan no e o kakimasu ka? Nan no e o kakimasu ka? Nan no e o kakimasu ka? 
Wait, if I can say, what picture will you draw? Can I also say, what song will you sing? Nan no e o kakimasuka. Nan no uta. Nan no uta o utaimasuka. Is that right? <laughs> what song will you sing? Nan no uta o utaimasuka. I'm going to assume that it's right. E o kakimasu. I draw a picture. I draw a picture. I was watch we were watching、um, Bob Ross videos last night. And Bob Ross, like, how many years later is it? 30 years on. And Bob Ross is amazing. Like, I can still happily go back and watch any of those Bob Ross videos, and they're so good. I like going on walks. Sampo ga suki des. Sampo ga suki des. Sampo ga suki suki des. des. I wonder if I could say Sampo ga dai suki des. I wonder. Great work. Let's make this harder. Do. I, like, make it harder, please. I do not draw pictures. E yo or e wa. E yo, e wa. There's a wa here. <laughs> That's cheating. E wa kakimasen. E wa kakimasen. E wa kakimasen. We have met our daily goal. Be ready for the sound to come through. I'm going to try and get rid of this as quickly as I can. Oh, we've earned six, six gems. I don't know what we use those for. Look at this. We've got 24,062 gems. I don't know what to do with them. I'm sure they're there for something. Don't spend them all in one place. No, no, no. Where, where, where's the. No, thanks. Where can I spend the gems? Okay.、Uh, we can have a. Streak freeze, one of two equipped. Okay, so what a streak freeze is, is that right now I have a streak of, let me just show you up here,、um, 140 days. I've been doing Duolingo for 140 days, and if I can find this, hey, how can I get in? The, there, there was a thing. Oh, it's up here. Okay, so if you look here, this is like every day that I've been doing Duolingo. But look down there, March the 6th. I forgot to do it on Saturday.、Um, fortunately, uh, fortunately, because I had a streak freeze,、um, it allowed me to not lose my streak, even though I technically had lost my streak.、Um, so that's a, one thing.、Uh, you can spend gems on formal attire, a champagne tracksuit, super duo. I don't like any of those. We need new clothes. That's what we need. I don't like those. Nope. I'm going to keep saving my gems for nice clothes. Maybe I'll spend them sometime. We're doing quite well here. We're in the Pearl League.、Um, but、uh, it's the beginning of the week, and some people are already working harder than us. Anyway, it is nearly time to go. It is after three o'clock. Oh, hold on a second. I'm sorry, I didn't see you in the chat right there.、Uh, Maggie Xian, hello, what languages do you speak? Okay,、um, I speak English, my first language.、Um, I speak Cantonese as well.、Um, I do live in Hong Kong and I speak Cantonese and I'm learning Japanese. So I speak two languages properly and I'm struggling my way through Japanese. Thank you for jumping into the stream. It's nice to see you down here. How are you doing today? Uh, we are approaching the end of our stream.、Um, I've been here for how long now? An hour and a half?、Um, I might just do a little bit more here. How about you? Are you、uh, learning anything on Duolingo? I'm just going to have a quick look through here. Shall we do one more hobby? Shall we do one more?
How long is this going to take? I don't think I can. You speak Arabic, French, English, and you're learning Spanish on Duolingo. No way. You speak a lot. Which is your first language? Is it Arabic? I don't know the Arabic numbers. Um, wow, that, that that's a lot of languages. Um, when I was... So I grew up speaking English at home. Um, I did learn a little bit of Dutch while I was younger. Uh, but very, very little. My grandmother is from the Netherlands, and I did learn some Dutch when I was growing up, but I didn't learn much, and I have forgotten most of what I had learned. So um, it's a little bit of a shame because, like, I wish I had learned Dutch when I was growing up. Um, unfortunately, my grandmother has now passed away, so, like, I don't I I shouldn't really say that I don't have motivation to learn Dutch because she has passed away um because to be honest I didn't really study Dutch hard when my grandmother was still around um but I wish I had I wish I had learned more Dutch when I was younger I wish I had become fluent in it um uh, and I wish I had been able to talk to my grandmother in Dutch because she lived in the UK and no one around her was speaking Dutch. So, you know, it would have been nice if I had been able to. Um, but yeah, I never learned Dutch growing up properly. I tried. I, I tried a couple of times. I tried when I was like 10 years old, um, learning from books. And I tried again when I was about 18. I went to a language center to learn. And I wonder, like, there was no Duolingo when I was young. And I wonder if Duolingo had been around back then, whether I would have been better at learning. Oh, we've got more people here. 12 Rhino 12, thank you for coming here. You did 100 days of Duolingo learning Spanish during the first lockdown. You're going to start Spanish again after a year off. Do it. Definitely do it. Um, right now, I'm just doing Japanese. Um, like you can see here, I've got Korean up there. Klingon, Dutch, French, uh, English for Chinese speakers, and Espanol. Um, I have only, out of all of these, I've only put the effort into uh, Japanese. I haven't put the efforts into anything else. I don't know if there's any way that you can check how much XP I've got on different things. You could probably check if you follow me. So if you guys are actually doing Duolingo, um, if you want to follow me on Duolingo, you can go to here, Anthony Cal. Thank you so much for following, Magishan. It's nice to see you here. And I do appreciate the follow, by the way. Um, I really do. Thank you so much. Yeah, Duolingo makes the first step of learning easier. I wanted to learn German when I was young, but it was very tough to learn from books. I know, right? It is difficult. Um, we learned some French and some German at school when I was there. But I feel like everything that I learned, I kind of... When I left school, I left all of my uh, French and German studies there. I, I didn't learn to any kind of high level. Um, so I would say that for me, uh, the highest level that I've got through learning is, uh, is my Cantonese. But I learned Cantonese from living in Hong Kong, right? That made it so much easier for me to learn um, just because you hear it every day, and because I was genuinely interested in learning. So before I even came to Hong Kong, I went to a language center, the same language center where I tried and failed to learn Dutch, uh, was the language center where I tried and succeeded in learning Cantonese. And I think that that was just because I was more interested in learning Cantonese at that time. Um, so yeah, I, uh, my Cantonese did improve. And then after coming to Hong Kong, it, it improved further still. Um, for my Japanese, I'm just learning through Duolingo. I am trying like some other apps as well. You can see here, we've got, uh, uh Miyagi over there. We've used a few different ones. We've used Kawaii Dungeon, Kawaii Nihongo. I haven't really gotten into J crosswords yet. That's a bit difficult. Infinite Japanese is quite nice for learning vocabulary. Um, I learned how to read Japanese characters using these apps here, Hiragana Pro and Katakana Pro. Um, and 
yeah, I'm basically wondering if you can actually get good at a language using apps like this. Um, it's definitely a good start. Uh, Maggie Shen says, uh, you'll learn more on your own than you did at school. They focus on grammar more than using the language itself. Um, from my point of view, I think that if you want to get good at a language, just from my experience with English and Cantonese and with Japanese, um, I think it is good to have an understanding of grammar. And to be able to use grammar will allow you to express yourself well, and it will allow you to understand other people who are using grammar well. But if you don't get good at using the language, if you don't speak more and listen more and really practice using it, you can learn all the grammar in the world, and it's not going to help that much. So sure, like, do learn grammar, please. Make sure that you are learning grammar. Um, if I, like, Japanese grammar is so different from English grammar that if you didn't kind of study it a little bit, you would just struggle to, to communicate. Uh, but it can't be your only focus, right? You do need vocabulary. You need to listen more. You need to speak more. And it's difficult, right? It is difficult. Um, 12 Rhino 12 says, testing me. It's been almost a year. I don't know what it says. Uh, I just did my first Spanish lesson a couple of hours ago. Try to keep it up. Um, guys, if you are in Duolingo, please add me and I will check in with you every week to make sure that you're still studying. I will see whether you're keeping up with your study streaks. And uh, I will put some pressure on you guys to make sure that you study. Thank you so much for coming, guys. I'm going to jump out in a second, but I will uh, keep going. Let's have a look. Grammar is basically repetitive patterns. You need to understand them, and you'll get them by repetition. Uh, they can't be your daily focus. Or at the very least, we want grammar in context, right? You want to, like, you've got grammar is the structure of a language, but you need to be using it in different ways so that you really grasp, like you grasp a feeling for how to use this. Like you grasp a feeling for how to use the grammar here, how to use the grammar there. If you just study it and you don't use it and you don't hear other people using it, then you don't really get a sense for what sounds nice and what sounds good. Um, so I feel like, yeah, learn your grammar, but don't focus on it too much, or at least make sure that your focus is on like how to use this to express yourself and on learning how other people are expressing themselves. You don't want to be, you know, pausing halfway through every sentence while you think whether you should be speaking in present perfect tense or present perfect continuous tense, right? That's ridiculous. You want to be able to just use it, right? You want to be able to just use the language. Um, and I think that grammar in a language is kind of like scales in music, right? Where if you're learning piano, thank you for following as well, 12 Rhino 12. I feel like grammar in language is kind of like uh, scales in music where, you know, if you want to be good at music, you learn your scales. You do. You sit there at your piano and you play your scales up and down and you play them in different keys. And it helps you to develop a sense of where my fingers need to be. And it helps me to develop a sense of like what sounds nice and how can you use scales to play different things. But if you just sit, like how can you use keys, sorry, how can you use different keys to express music differently. But if you just sit there doing scales all day and you never listen to music and you never play a song, those scales end up being kind of useless, right? But if you don't focus on learning keys and learning the scales in music, like you could play a song, but you might not be able to ad lib. You might not be able to play around with music. And if you write a song, but you don't know your keys, it might sound bad, right? Uh, 
hold on a second. Since you're in Taiwan, do Asians from different countries like Japanese, Koreans, and Chinese communicate with each other? How do they communicate with each other? Um, I'm in Hong Kong, uh, not Taiwan. And I, how do people communicate with each other? Um, well, people are speaking different languages. So, you know, I think people might communicate with each other. So, like, a person in Hong Kong would probably be able to speak, they should be able to speak Cantonese as their mother tongue. Um, and then they might be able to speak Mandarin and English as well. They might not be able to speak Japanese, right? They might not be able to speak Korean unless they've specifically gone out to learn it. So if a Hong Kong person went on holiday to Korea and wanted to go shopping, they would probably end up like speaking English, maybe, or speaking like travelers Korean. Um, but yeah, if people from different countries would often use English uh, to talk to each other. If you are someone from Hong Kong or China or Taiwan, and if you travel to Japan, you do have a little bit of an advantage when uh, traveling there, because the Japanese language contains some Chinese characters. So when I go to Japan, uh, not right now, uh, hashtag coronavirus, uh, but when, you, uh, when I travel to Japan, even before learning Japanese, I could read some characters walking around in Japan because there's Chinese characters within Japanese text. So just in terms of reading, like uh, Chinese speaking people can read a small fraction of the language of Japanese just because they can read the Chinese characters. Uh, but the languages spoken are very, very different. So it's a little bit different. Thank you for redeeming hydrate. Everybody hydrate, please. I've got a tiny bit of my ramen air left here. Uh, as it's your first time here, I've been drinking different ramen air every week uh, for the last few months, uh, and I've been ranking them. Uh, this is peach uh, yorozia uh, ramen air. It's fine. Like, it's not great, but it's fine. Uh, I, it's probably going to end up being a number five or a number six. I think it's better than the lemon. But yeah, thank you for the hydrate. So yeah, um, learning English is super important. Like, even if you went to the Philippines, um, sure, it would be great to learn Tagalog. I think that's how you pronounce that phrase, Tagalog. Um, but a lot of people in the Philippines do speak English too. And uh, that means that if you're just traveling to different countries, English is still like a super useful language to have for traveling around. But uh, I think that if you spend a lot of time with people, and if you are, you know, if your boyfriend or your girlfriend is from a certain place, um, or if you're moving to a certain place, then definitely learn the language. Definitely learn the language. Anyway, guys, it is 3.20 here. I have another appointment very, very soon, so I will have to run away. Thank you so much for following. Uh, we do stream Duolingo every Monday at around this time. I was a little bit late starting today um, because I couldn't get on the computer uh, early enough. We only have one computer in this household, and we have to fight over it. But um, I do stream Duolingo every Monday on Twitch over here. If you're not here for the live streams, don't worry. We also have a YouTube account. It's youtube.com slash Anthony Kelly Yip as well. It's exactly the same username. Um, and I will upload these videos the following day to YouTube. In case you're interested, um, I also do some Pokemon Go live streams. Yeah, I uh, will walk around Hong Kong and catch Pokemon outside. So if you are interested in seeing what Hong Kong is like, uh, or if you are at all interested in Pokemon Go, uh, then uh, you can join us for some of those other streams as well. Also, we have a Discord server. So if you would like to join us over there, let me just, I'll drop this into the chat. There is a link to our Discord server. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to hang out over there, we do have different channels for Pokemon, for learning Japanese, and for, you know, just general sharing of life here in Hong Kong.
sorry. If any of that sounds interesting to you, then uh, please join us. Thank you so much, guys. I am going to run away, and uh, it's been really nice seeing you both here. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Please add me on Duolingo. Study hard, okay? Study hard, guys. I will be watching. And uh, I'll see you next time, okay? Take care, guys. Bye-bye.